Hi, it's me again with Crow Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this clip art, and pretty cool. They put a circle around the one they want. They're making a logo for a tree trimming company, and they want that limb branch to go around the circle of the logo, and then they'll do stuff with it later. Really easy. But the main question was how to get this limb and if we put in a yellow box, a lot of times your clip art will come like this with multiple uh, items on it. Now you can see it's a bitmap, got a back, it kind of looks like lightning at that angle. But anyway, what I'm going to do, let's say this thing is, I could really reduce it, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to keep my nudge factor on seven inches. I'm going to make a duplicate. I always make a duplicate. Now with this one selected, Selected is the, the key, because if you don't have it selected, everything else on the screen will be cropped out. So now we have a much smaller picture in just the one we want. So now we can go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace Clip Art. Does it really quick. It's a great image. It's a little bit different because normally the Trace version is on top. But this time, the the bitmap was on top, so you got to just move it out of the way. That's pretty good. It's sharp. You know what? I didn't see that earlier. Um, I've already done it just to make sure I can get it done. Let's go to uh, object and break, ungroup it, and let's just get rid of that. Doesn't need it. If you watched enough of my video, okay, that kind of makes it, makes it not look so good. But now that it's ungrouped, we can take the shape tool and actually just redefine this branch. And then if, since I found that one, I would look all around. I think it looks good. And we didn't alter it, so we don't need to do anything with it. Now to make it go around a circle, I would think you'd want it semi in this direction. So now we can... They did not tell me how big the circle or how many branches they wanted. I'm going to hit P. I am going to control D to make a duplicate and holding down the shift key. I'm going to bring this circle in. And, and the reason I didn't email them back and ask them how many branches they want and what size, because once they learn this part, then they can change it to anything. So I've made a lot, everything's in the center of the page. I'm going to rotate it 10 degrees. Now, instead of making a duplicate and rotating it a negative 10 degrees, I'm just going to control D and then mirror it. So now I have a 20 degree block. I'm going to take the smart fill tool. I've done this a hundred times on videos, left click, right click. So now I have an envelope form. I'm going to take my branch and it's pretty close to the right size of that. But you know, you could have rotated it 15 degrees both ways or, you know, five degrees both ways and, and had a lot more branches. So they can decide that. Now with it selected, I'm going to go to effects and envelope tool. There's an envelope over here, but I always use this one. Go create from form. Tell it what you want. There's that branch in that envelope. Now we want to put it back evenly. So I'm going to shift select the other one and then go E C R C E. Doesn't matter which way you go. Now I'm going to grab our branch and move it over. So that's exactly where I need to be. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my branch and I'm going to move it out of the way. And then I'm going to nudge these out of the way just in case I make a mistake. Now, Bring out our indexing lines in the center of the page. And I, normally I uh, use the duplicate, but in this, I thought I'd show off. Uh, so before I make a duplicate, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the transformation, Docker. So I didn't get, you've got to be in the center and just click off of it. If you don't, if you don't hit that X, you get that. Now we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, and Transform. Yours might say transformation. So we need 18 of these guys. 
at 10 at 20 degrees and we need 18 so we need 17 because we've already got one and look at that now i could have duplicated by the time i open this window and do it uh, uh you could already had it done but i i like showing off the transformation doctor so again mine says transform older versions it was transformation now you could do uh, let's back up here. Uh, what you could do is now, okay. One reason I decided to do that, look at our angle of our branch. Okay. So it's 325.046. Well, I can just hit plus on the keyboard plus 20 degrees and it moved it over. Now I didn't make a duplicate. So control D and just, you, if you can't do the math, just hit plus 20 degrees and it will rotate it. And then you're set and you can just duplicate it around. So sometimes this is fast, but my computer slows down and it can't keep up. So I got to go back in here again, go plus 20 and get the same effect. Now you could, you know, you could flip that branch over. You could have every other one go in the opposite direction and then you would just pick two of them, you know, flip one, uh, pick and maybe envelope both of them in a 40 degree, but you could do any amount of degree, a degree and be set to go. You could have a lot more branches. You could have them thicker and do whatever you want. Whatever they're going to put in here, I think it'll be pretty cool with that logo. Anyway, I hope that helped them and somebody in the future. And thank you for watching.